Today, we're going to go over the Garmin 93SV transducer setup so that you can get the best performance out of your equipment. We're going to go over how to mount it, how to adjust it, and how to level it to your boat's attitude and the speed that you travel when you're trying to find fish. Uh, it's all very important, so to get the most out of your transducer, stay tuned, and we'll get right to it. Hey, folks. So what we're going to try to do, uh, we bought these new Garmin SV, 93 SV units, and we put the transducer on, but I'm noticing my arcs don't look really good uh, when, I, when I do see a fish. So I want to set the transducer for the way I use it. So what I'm going to do, you'll see a lot of videos, they have uh, get a pocket full of coins and a torpedo level. I've done that before and it works okay. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a little technology. There's an app on here that I'll show you that has a bubble. And, you know, one of those center, center bubbles, round bubble. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get going about five miles an hour and I'm going to reach down and I'm going to hit the calibrate button and I'm going to set it to where my boat is as far as this way and this way while I'm going about five miles an hour and you can see the water is just, just really nice and calm so it's a perfect day to do this. So when I do that, I'll, I, I won't reset it or anything. I'll go ahead and just close out of that app and then when we get home, we'll go ahead and set our transducer to what we saw here. First thing I need to do is find a place to put my phone. And it needs to be repeatable, so I gotta put it back in the same exact spot. So for the purposes of us shooting a video and me being by myself, I'm gonna set it right down here on the floor. And it's gonna be right at the corner of my console. So I can put it back there when I get done, when we get home. Let's get going about five miles an hour here. That's about where I like to, like to set up when I'm just searching and hunting for fish. Which another reason for that is it runs me at about 1800 RPMs and that's a good place for my motor. My motor likes to run there. Okay, we're at 5.1 mile an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit my calibrate button. All right. And then when we get home, we should be able to, to set it up. You can find this app in the App Store. I strongly suggest you spend a couple of minutes going over it. It's not complicated by any means, but you still need to get it right. Um, also, pay close attention to the orientation of your phone uh, from end to end, side to side, when you set it down and when you hit the calibrate button because you have to put it back exactly that way. If you don't, it'll have you like lowering the front of your boat when you need to raise it. I made that mistake, so don't make the same mistake I did. Obviously, once I tilted the boat enough, I figured out I was going the wrong direction and flipped my phone around and made it right. All right, so when we were out on the water, we adjusted this app on this phone for the speed and the attitude of the boat with me riding in it in the uh, captain's chair. So now we're going to adjust it using the tongue jack and a floor jack. So this is where we're starting out, and we'll go ahead and make some adjustments to the tongue jack. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and make some adjustments to the floor jack. And you'll probably have to go back and forth a couple of times uh, to get it right in the center of the bullseye. And okay, and now we got it pretty level. So it's time to go ahead and get a torpedo, torpedo level and go to the uh, transducer itself and get it leveled up. Okay. Well, let's see how close we are. Stick the level on there. Woo! Let's look at it this way. Well, that doesn't look much better. 
All right, so I would assume these adjustments will drastically improve the performance of the transducer. Okay, it moves in notches, so you gotta kind of go one notch at a time. Well, we're kind of in between notches a little. This screw here, you don't really need to loosen that up because it shouldn't be very tight. It's made with a rubber washer in it so that it'll, it, if you hit something, it'll break away and it'll come up. So really all you need to do is just back these two out. So what I found, if I take a piece of rubber and I put it up under the bottom, it comes out just perfectly level. So I'm going to take a little bit of silicone. They can put about three dabs on there. And stick that up behind there. Okay. I'll go ahead and raise this side up. You just snug it. Go ahead and put my level on it. Okay. Tighten those up. Double check it. It's pretty darn close. And it's within the bubble that way. Actually, it's dead on. So what I was talking about, you don't want to tighten, tighten this all the way up. Because if you hit something, it'll break out of the way. It doesn't break it. It just moves. So... Okay, there we go. Hey, one thing I did do when I got done, I took and scribed the position of the plate and where the notches were, you know, where they lined up. So that if something happens to the transducer, I can get it lined back up without having to go through all this again. So I hope this helps you out. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe. Let's get out on the water and have a great day.